I'm Dr. Mark Bleacher, co-director of Cataract and Primary Eye Care here at Will's Eye Hospital. I'm standing outside the Cataract uh, Clinic, uh, which is uh, our resident clinic, uh, also adjacent to our private cataract offices on the 12th floor of the hospital. Uh, this is where we do, we see uh, many of our patients as their entry point to Will's Eye Hospital, patients who just need general eye exams and patients who have cataracts and other visual issues. Uh, we do a lot of teaching here. Our residents do a lot of cataract surgery under our supervision, uh, and we're happy to bring them along in all the newest techniques available for, uh, for cataracts. Uh, recently, I spoke to everyone about uh, the newest uh, technology in intraocular lenses for cataract surgery, the Symphony Extended Range of Focus Lens. Uh, we started, it was F approved by the FDA at the end of August, and we've started using it for the last uh, four or five weeks, and I'd like to give you a little update on how that's going so far. Uh, it's going great. Uh, this lens provides an extended range of focus for patients who've had cataract surgery, giving them excellent distance vision right through to close vision. Uh, this is something we've never really had before. Uh, prior lens technologies that attempted to do this broke the light up into two separate focal points, distance and near, but really there were gaps in between and the quality was not always 100%. Uh, this new technology using a, a variant of diffractive optics gives a continuous uh, focus of vision from distance right through uh, close, and we're seeing that patients are really enjoying uh, a higher quality of vision and a greater facility of vision than we were able to offer before. Uh, we are still in the early stages of, uh, of using these lenses, uh, sorting out which patients we think are best suited for them, which patients might not be best suited for them, uh, and how we can use these lenses with other technologies that we have available to really get the best quality and function of vision for our cataract patients. Uh, we'll keep you posted in future updates. Thank you for your attention.